everybody out there welcome to another episode of the savage land and today we have a special episode on a topic that's been on my mind and the topic is grails that are still whales and what i mean by that when i say grails are really good toys that still hold their value uh to this day and pretty much almost going back a 20 year span and whether they came out with the current one or they don't have a current one at all these toys are still whales and when i say a whale whenever you see somebody who's doing their thing or just holding it down and cannot be stopped that's a whale and maybe some will agree maybe some won't but these five figures right here i believe are grails and i believe they're whales and we'll go through each individual one and i'll explain why and this is just my theory of what i think but there is room to argue on each and every last one of these figures. And the first one we'll start off with Clayface. This Clayface uh, holds a very uh, special value to me because out of all these builder figures up here, which uh, four of these are actually builder figures and one is not, I actually built this one. I actually chased this one down and built it back in uh, 2018, 19, whenever this came out. I wanna say 2018, but this Clayface it's one of the best clay faces I have. Right now, it's running on eBay for about 180. Took you maybe about five or six figures to put this together. Even the new Todd McFarlane clay face can't hold a match to this guy right here. He has an articulated jaw, and then just the paint on this guy is something crazy. Like the sculpt, I mean, this looks just like the clay face from Batman the Animated Series. It's got the big wide shoulders, up top, I mean, it just, he just looks phenomenal, man. I, I don't know if there'll ever be a clay face that could rival this uh, figure here. The new Todd McFarlane one from McFarlane Toys, I don't like the waist. I think the waist is too skinny. From what I remember and my inception of clay face, he always had a, he was a wide figure. He was big and wide. And this one right here, just, is it, it, is that to the T. Any inception of clay face cannot rival this to me. This is, this is the best right here. This figure is dope. Like I said, if you're looking to pick this up, it's about 180 on eBay. And it's definitely worth the money. And like I said, it's from a defunct line that um, that's just not around anymore. It's from the Mattel multiverse. Okay, next figure up is MODOK. And you're probably wondering why I say MODOK. Uh, and this is the Toy Biz, uh, Marvel Legends MODOK. Uh, probably came out between 05, 08, sometime around there. I'm sorry, I don't have exact time dates, but you can see how old this is. This is a figure from the 2000s, not even the 2010s, the teens, not even the 2020s, okay? This is a good, at least a good 15 year old figure here. And the reason why, because it's the same exact uh, toy as the new MODOK to me, but it just has more detail. Now, I know the other MODOK has another faceplate, and then they came out with another one that looks like Elvis that comes with another figure, but this figure right here, um, pretty much, you, you, you can't, that new one can't hold a candle to it, to me. For one, the blast effect on the bottom is a lot bigger, I mean, uh, is a lot better. If you take a look at the top of his head here, it almost seems like each individual strand of hair has paint on it. I mean, it has some like some blonde and brown like streaks through it. It almost looks look like. And then just the teeth, the lips, the color on the face. I mean, it's a lot of paint and detail in this. And, and they're pretty much essentially the same figure, the same aesthetic they use for the new one. But this one right here just has way more deco on it. But he's a grill to me because he's better than the, the current one that came out about a year ago. And he's a whale because, I mean, he's still holding his value. The cool thing about the build the figures is, I mean, build, I got I got, I got, got four build the figures up here. They never came in carded boxes. So the, the potential amount for what they really could have been when they pumped them out the factory, it'll never be. There's, some, there's always gonna be somebody with a leftover MODOK arm. There's always gonna be somebody with the leftover uh, blob leg. You'll never ever get the complete number for uh, for these these figures, man. So that's that's why this is a grail and well. It, it, it beats out the uh, the new one. The next one we'll go on is the blob. 
This guy's a grill because they haven't made a new blob yet. And when they do, will it hold up to this one? It's a whale because he's a whale, literally. <laughs> he's a big boy. But uh, this guy right here is going to run you about 250 300 on uh on eBay. And I don't know why. Maybe there's not a lot of them out there. But when I seen them, I had to have them. Um, brought him maybe about three years ago also. He's a hollow figure. It feels like when you pick it up. So if you drop this guy here, you're pretty much just going to be like Humpty Dumpty had a fall. You're going to crack this stomach and all that. Because all this in here feels kind of hollow. Uh, but he's a great figure. He has a lot of detail. He has the finger articulation. That's the one thing with the Toy Biz figures. They got the finger articulation, which gets loose after a while. But I always like that aspect uh, of them. It just gave it a little bit more expression uh, without having to change up hands. Um, you see the fat rolls. He has freckles. This He has freckled skin. I mean, this guy looks phenomenal still to this day. And uh, with a lot of these grails that are whales, you can put them in the mix with current figures and they still look good. And I believe all these figures up here, I can mix them in with my current Marvel Legends, uh, DC Multiverse, etc., etc., and they won't look out of place. Shit, they might even look better than some of the newer figures. But this blob, I don't. If they come out with a new one, I don't know if it could be better than this. I mean, this is perfect, really. It's probably why he's so high in price, man. They just made a really, really good figure. And once again, he's a builder figure, so he's not a carded figure. He'll never ever have the full potential amount of how many of these could be could have been made and produced if all parts were put together at one time. Now we'll go to the long figure on here that's not a builder figure. It's a Diamond Select uh, Rhino from Spider-Man, and this figure is badass, man. I mean, this is a good figure. Can he really move like that? No, not really. But when you're dealing with Rhino, that's really not an agile character. He's gonna do some charging poses. And that's pretty much it. He's going to ram, bam, thank you, ma'am. And that's all you get this figure. You don't get any other hands or anything, but the best thing they could have did was give him uh, fisted hands. But as far as the, the quality and time they put into this, this figure is heavy, too. This is one of those figures I say, if you threw it out the window, it's going to go through a window, and, it, and it's probably not going to break this figure. This guy feels like he's about five pounds. He's full plastic. There's no hollow on this figure here. Um, I brought this uh, several years ago for about 60 bucks. I don't know how much he's running now. He's probably over 100 because when I was looking for him then, he was kind of hard to find. Actually, this guy came from the United uh, Kingdom. I brought this from England. Um, somebody had up there for a good price, and man, I got it on eBay. But uh, he's awesome, man. His scope, his texture, his paint, um, his toenails are like cracked up. And it's got cracks in it. You can see the color in his teeth, his horns on his head. It has some really good detail. And to be honest with you, that new Marvel Legends Rhino that's coming out, which is essentially the Builder figure repackaged, it looks like it moves better. But to me, it's not better than this. This right here feels like a Rhino. Um, I'm going to pick up that new Rhino, but I still don't think he'll be able to get busy with this. And even though this guy doesn't have an ab crunch, like the new Rhino, he has that abdominal swivel, which to me is almost kind of better than a ab crunch. Because that's the way a real human body moves. I don't have two lines going through my abdominal muscles so I can bend. I can just stretch those. You know what I'm saying? But anything, I'm going to twist like this. When I'm throwing a punch, I'm swinging a bat, or I'm, 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 I'm just doing anything that recalls a blunt force from a human. I'm, I'm, I'm swinging my upper abdominal up here. So I like that abdominal cut more, but this guy right here, I, I, I don't think that new Rhino can touch this guy. Like I said, he doesn't move the best, but for what I want Rhino to do, he's gonna do, and for the way I want Rhino to look, he looks. And doesn't he look good without this that split in his, his ab? You know what I'm saying? He has a six pack here that looks freaking phenomenal. How many, he, two, four, six, he almost got an eight pack. He got a, he got a seven pack, I'll tell you that. So. I, I just think he I just think he's he's a he's a whale because he's a great figure. He cannot be touched and he's a grill because he, he's just really not around like that no more. Um and then the last uh grail that is a whale is this apocalypse. And you might say, okay, well we got an apocalypse build a figure uh that I, I you know I actually put that one together too. Not this one, but the, the new Marvel Legends one from 2017, 2018, somewhere around that line. I actually put that one together, hunted those figures down. But 
And that's a good looking figure, but I just still, for some odd reason, can't touch this because if you know Apocalypse, you know he can grow. And you'll never ever get an Apocalypse this big that you can be brought in store. Now you can probably say, okay, well they can make a 12 inch Apocalypse, but he's gonna be hollow. This guy right here is solid. He has plenty of paint and he looks good. His hoses in the back that hook up to him are bendy wire. Like this is a HasLab right here, basically. This is a mini HasLab. You can only get this type of quality uh, through HasLab now. Now, if you look at uh, around his pelvis area, he has the ball joints, which that's what the old toy biz is about. It looks too wonky, it looks too fake. And that's what the new Marvel Legends has replaced, those ball joints, but he's so big, it's really not that bad on this one. And I'm holding him because he, he has gotten really loose over the years. He has some ratchet joints, but he's really not meant to be played with at this stage now. He's a piece. He's something you can definitely sit up and people will look at. He has great paint. He looks like the original Apocalypse. And he can also be played off as if pop in your six inch line as if Apocalypse grew and he's about bigger than the house. But you know Apocalypse can get as big as a house if he wanted to. Uh, boy, he's wonky. Boy, he's really loose. But like I said, he's a grail because it's, it, it, you really got to search him down. He's running about 180 right now. Uh, between 140 and 180 and he's a builder figure he was never a carded figure so they'll never all these builder figures they'll never be as much the potential that they started off with because who knows some people decided not to collect some people threw some of those parts away way back in 05 06 07 you know i know i did i didn't save any builder figure pieces when i first started collecting marvel legends back in 03 04 i was like i'm not building that you know what i'm saying just 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 thinking on that level not knowing it was going to be to what it is now but um great figure all these figures up here are great all five of these figures are grails that are whales there's room to argue on it but these guys can't be touched they can't be touched and hey say eventually they do come out with a figure or apocalypse this big this detailed with all the bells and whistles these will still hold their place because they're the originals it's almost like a goat conversation for a long time let's just go on some basketball stuff like I, LeBron's my man. We're the same age. We're looking for something after Jordan. He came out of high school same time I did, and he's really good. But I, I mean, I've been just studying Mike for the past two years, and had to get get re, uh, Mike had to reintroduce himself to me. And I'm talking about Michael Jordan. LeBron can't touch Mike. Mike ain't never been upstage on a big stage. Mike, Mike got all the accolades. Mike can back up what he talks, and uh, Mike's gonna be clutch, man. Mike is the goat. The GOAT. Not taking anything away from LeBron, but Mike is always going to have his spot. Michael Jordan. And that's the same thing with these five guys right here. They're always going to have their spot. Maybe somebody else will come along. Some other people have came along. They're good, but they're not good enough to upstage these guys to me. And that's that's pretty much it. I want to put that out there. I know these figures have been talked about for the past 20 years. 15, 20 years. But these guys are grails that are still well and that's all um if it's your first time watching my channel put a like comment if you haven't subscribed man go ahead and subscribe man i ain't gonna bother you for nothing um ooh. <laughs> he's weak in the knees um but we're gonna end this episode like we do every episode when you walk out the door make sure you're being a person of integrity until next time god bless